This classroom, which is pretty much a normal size supplier classroom, you could fit what? Uh, 25, 30, 28 people. In 25. There. And how often do you do classes? As often as we can put them on. We just recently did a pro's choice class with Ann Bedwell. Went over pretty well, and we have Melody from Americolor coming in on the seventh for a dining class. So we you know both those ladies, good instructors. Fantastic instructors. Yeah. So Belfour, remind me, they are out of where? I mean, I, they are a worldwide company, but we do have a local office here in Reno. Um, but they do the restoration themselves, right? Yes. So they're getting private labeled equipment here, yes. which looks like all dry use equipment. Every restoration company, they all have their own colors. They buy everything from corporate. Uh -huh. We're here to just service their equipment. Belfour's got the red, Coit's got the uh, black, Service Master yellow, and Serve Pro green. Yeah, never the two shall meet. Right? Yeah. So, yeah well, that's a sweet account, right? And that's so, it. Looks like somebody's got an Herbal Life distributorship, huh? My parents are big into Herbal Life. Yeah, I haven't seen that in a while. Nuts, so they stock it and sell it to a couple of friends. And you said they also just opened up a dive shop, huh? Correct. They own Adventure Scuba in town as well. Apparently, uh, diving in Lake Tahoe is something I wasn't familiar with so popular. but You wouldn't think it would be, but it was actually huge. There are four dive shops between Reno, Carson, and Tahoe. <laughs> so there's enough business to keep four dive shops. Open. And then what about the, the stand-up paddle boarding? Is that popular out there or too that windy? It's popular everywhere around here. Yeah. You'll even see people doing it in Sparks Marina. Sparks say. Marina, what's that? It is a now formed lake that used to be a quarry pit that filled in in the 97 floods and rather than emptying it out they just left it as a lake and built a park around it huh so no boat action just motorless motorless permitted for certain contests we have a jet ski contest every year a wakeboarding contests uh, a couple things like that but other than that it's all motorless and are they uh, stocking it with fish or is the water too funky Typically, they stock it with fish, but the last couple of years, they've had issues with oxygen levels and fish dying. Yeah. So they haven't stocked it as often as they used to. But Sparks Marina. It's a nice little that. place to take a walk, but I sure wouldn't swim. You it. wouldn't get in there yourself, huh? <laughs> no. Don't fall off your paddleboard. Yes. Very yeah, cool. We do have paddleboard rentals down there, paddle boat rentals, canoe rentals, all that kind of stuff. But judging by your Facebook, you seem to get out almost every weekend doing something fun around here. I try to. Yeah. You have Stuff two kids? With the area. Two kids. Two kids, and they're both real young. 13 and 11. Uh huh. And does your wife come along on all these outdoor adventures? Or? A lot of them, yeah. 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 And sometimes she's all get out of here, good riddance, and yeah. take the I mean, kids with you. Yeah, I usually fish, and I'll go out with the buddies and do that kind of stuff. Uh -huh. uh, she'll come up to Pyramid and fish with me here and there. Um, but it's a lot of family hikes, stuff like that. We like to get outdoors as much as possible when you live around this area. It's yeah. Yeah. I mean, it literally has everything to offer. So. That was my draw here. I'll be heading down to Bridgeport for the 4th of July in a couple of days. We got a nice little shop here, Chris. I think it seems pretty streamlined and ready to go, huh? We try. We try our best. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's worked well for us. And, you know, we just kind of plug away and do our thing. And yeah. we've been pretty happy with it. Awesome. Well, thanks for giving me the tour, and I'm sure I'll be seeing more of you, especially on the side of uh, Pyramid Lake. I hope so. All right. Thanks, Chris. Thank you.